There are choices that are quite difficult to make, but what if those choices play such an important role in a narrative that goes hand in hand with our character's personality? Pentiment is much more than a simple click of a mouse button. Andrews Mallor, played by the player, who will be in charge of the suffer, the mysteries that this title will bring to the table, is a traveling artist and a dreamer, advised by imaginary entities during his sleep. Each of them is interpreted by his opinion. Between saints, priests, and even philosopher Socrates, opinions differ among them in an attempt to discuss ideas and shape an opinion about the changes that Andrews will be facing due to the choices he made at a certain point in history. In fact, the adventure begins inside the dream of Andreas, who after waking up learns that court's jesters are intractable. The narrative begins with little action. In fact, there are no moments of action at all, but even so, it is a title recommended for anyone looking for a captivating story and accurate historical events. Tessing is the fictional town in the countryside of the Holy Roman Empire, which serve as a backdrop and which, at first glance, appears peaceful with modest but super friendly people. Andrew's task, until then, was to work on his great masterpiece, this being an artist with studies in a field and beyond, but also to enter into the routine of working on the manuscripts of the local abbey. However, he quickly realized that things are not as peaceful as they appear to be, and suddenly finds himself wrapped in a panoply of mysteries that involves even the death of one of his elements. The story and background of Andreas are completely outlined by the player as he advances in time, being able to choose the areas of study that most interest him and even the types of language that fascinate him the most. These choices will have a direct impact on the story and the possible lines of text available at certain times. My Andreas dabbles in Italian studies and a little Greek, fascinated by books, occult magic and astronomy. It is important to approach all moments with the greatest possible attention, since this can lead to a positive or negative outcome in the activities between characters and with this the possibility of acquiring more knowledge about the subject addressed. Not being a point-and-click in its essence, Pentiment's adventure goes through a narrative divided in three acts that involve investigation and the player's attention to places that might go unnoticed. In trying to solve the murder mysteries, it is important to be convinced of the decision taken, since time waits on all small actions. The simple act of having lunch with a character implies wasting time that can be used to explore another part of the story in more depth which ultimately can impact the number of evidence for the outcome of the case. And yes, it's easy to get lost in these small actions because without paying much attention, the next moment you're already in contact with a character that doesn't add anything to the main point. Everything is very vivid and there is a lot to discover. The map can also help with this momentary distraction since the possibilities are more than many. This is not a Sherlock Holmes where the story has only one ending. Pentiment kind of forces you to pick a culprit with the information that you gathered and subsequently live with it. The direct consequences of players' choices are what make this experience so impactful. Everything rotates and adapts according to the different branches of choices. And ultimately, if you are on the side of the village population or end in hand with the abbey, Pentiment's graphics pull the graphic aspect of the engravings in the book and make everything quite charming. All its characters and surroundings are quite peculiar and specific to the era of 1518. Pentiment is a breath of fresh air from the studios of Obsidian Entertainment, slow at certain points but pertinent and interesting at just the right points to grab the player even in those moments. First, thank you so much for watching the review. Second, if you have any suggestion of any sort of game for me to play and review it, please, by all means, let, let's chat, leave a comment on the, the comment section, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this, and thank you.